Samahan niyo ako at pag-usapan natin ng tungkol sa Remainder Theorem. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at mati. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin ngayong araw. So for today, pag-uusapan naman natin ang tungkol sa Remainder Theorem. Now let me give you first an overview of what you should expect from this topic. So ito pong Remainder Theorem ang magpapadali ng buhay natin kapag ang tanong lang naman sa ating teacher ay ano ang remainder ng polynomial na ito? If they are just asking for the remainder itself. Ayan, hindi naman yung buong quotient. So dito sa Remainder Theorem, mas mabilis ang process ng pagsasolve natin. Basically, di ba, when we are getting the remainder, of course, we are going to solve through long division o kaya synthetic division, tapos doon lalabas naman yung remainder. Pero ito, mas mabilis yung process ng pagkuha natin. So, let's do that. Ayan. So, last time, we discussed about synthetic division. Ganito yon yung long process ng synthetic division natin. And, sa dulong ito, eto yung remainder na tinatawag, right? Ayan. So, ito yung laging remainder. Now, ang gagawa natin ng paraan, paano makuha si remainder na hindi nagdadaan sa gantong process? Ayan. So, let's start discussing about it. Ayan. O, gantong type of question. Pinapahanap lang naman sa atin yung remainder. So, we are not uh, going to, you know, undergo yung process ng long division o kaya synthetic para makuha si remainder. So, let me discuss to you, paano yung shortcut na iyon. Find the remainder of x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x plus 6 over x plus 2. So, eto, di ba kapag fraction form, that is division then. So, eto ang dividend, eto ang divisor. I-divide natin ang numerator sa denominator. So, same thing lang yan nito. Same thing lang yan dito. Ibang way lang siya isinulat, pero same lang yan dito. Ayan. Now, ang first step dito ay first step din ng synthetic division. So, first thing we have to do, we're going to equate this to zero para makuha yung value ng x. Ano yun? Ganto lang siya. x plus 2 is equal to zero. Then, para matira si x, of course, inilipat natin yung 2. And when we transpose, magiging siyang negative sa kabila. So, we'll have x is equal to negative 2. Ayan. So, atong negative 2, gagamitin natin yan sa pagsasod ng remainder. At paano yun mangyayari, sir? Ganto lang. So, since we're done using the divisor, let's work on the dividend naman. Itong x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x plus 6. Ano dito ang gagawin? Ayan. Yung mga value po ng x dyan, papalitan natin ng negative 2. Again, for us to get the remainder, ang shortcut doon, papalitan lang natin lahat ng negative 2. So, paano yun? Ganito siya. Ayan, yung x cubed, naging negative 2 cubed. Tapos, plus 4, parenthesis, negative 2, naka-squared, plus 7 times negative 2, plus 6. Again, lahat na makita mong x, gawin mong negative 2. And make sure ilagay mo yan sa parenthesis lahat. Ayan. So, kanina, di ba nakita natin na ang remainder ay 0? Dapat dito, sa process na ito, 0 ang maging sagot natin sa remainder. So, let's continue. Ayan. So, we are multiplying or we are getting the cube of negative 2. So, paano yon? Diba? Kapag exponent, that will tell us how many times natin multiply yung negative 2 sa sarili niya. So, hindi ito negative 2 times 3. That's the common mistake. So, ang gagawin mo dyan, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Tatlong beses. And, ganito po ang clue kapag negative ang nakaray sa isang number. Kapag add number ito, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, yun, yung mga add number, and negative ang nasa loob, yung base, laging negative ang sagot. So, negative ang magiging sagot natin dito. Pero kapag even number, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, laging positive ang nagiging sagot. So, since ito add, gawin natin yung 
negative yung result. So, this will have negative a. Ayan. Tapos ito naman, negative 2 squared, since even number ang exponent, that's negative 2 times negative 2, that will give us positive 4. Ayan. Tapos ito, 7 times negative 2, that's negative 14. Tapos yung plus 6 as is lang. So, by doing that at yung lalabas, again, negative ito kasi naka-cube or naka-raise sa add number. Tapos yung 4, kinopya lang. Negative 2 squared, kaya siya positive kasi nga, even number yung exponent. That's negative 2 times negative 2. Then, eto naman, since kahit may plus dyan, ang 7 times negative 2 kasi ay negative 14. So, pwede nang mawala yung plus dito. Yung 6, copy lang natin. Then, tuloy ang pagsusolve. Eto muna ang isolve natin. Yung 4 times 4, that is 16. So, negative 8 plus 16 minus 14 plus 6. Then, solve this all from left to right. Makukuha natin 0. Ayan, kapag pinag-add and subtract natin itong mga to, ang lalabas din ay 0. Ayan. So, that's it. Ito ang remainder theorem. So, di ba kanina nakita natin na ang remainder, kapag ginamit natin yung synthetic division, the remainder is 0. So, using this process, mas mabilis, mas madali na makukuha yung remainder. So, ibig sabihin, walang remainder itong dalawa kapag dinivide. So, 0 ang remainder nito. Let's have another. Ito yung second example natin doon sa synthetic division. So, ito yung long process para makuha yung remainder lang. So, again, through remainder theorem, mas mabilis natin makukuha yung 14 kapag ginamit natin yung process ng remainder theorem. So, let's do that. Let's prove na kahit remainder theorem ang gamitin natin, ito pa rin ang lalabas. 14 pa rin ang lalabas without us doing the synthetic division. Ganto po yan. Ayan, so another form naman ng question kasi baka ma-encounter ninyo yung first example natin kanina. Hindi na ninyo alam kung paano gagawin. So there are different ways kung paano siya isusulat, kung paano siya ibibigay sa question. So kaya I'm going to show you yung different na uh, itsura ng question. Find the remainder of x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4 divided by x plus 3. Ayan. So dito naman, di ba dun sa... Synthetic division, chinecheck natin mabuti kung kompleto yung terms. Tapos dun din sa long division kung kompleto yung terms. Dito hindi naman siya stricto because we're just looking for the remainder. Kung kulang yan, di ba kulang kasi ito ng x, di ba? We are supposed to add 0x pero hindi na. Sa remainder theorem, since we are working on the remainder, no need to complete this polynomial. So again, first step natin ng remainder theorem is to equate this to 0 para makuha si x. So, that's x plus 3 is equal to 0. Tapos, ilipat natin yung 3. Magiging siyang x is equal to negative 3. Then, after that, we're going to use this polynomial, x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4, and then lahat na makita mong x, papalitan mo ng negative 3. Ayan. So, magiging siyang ganito. So, yung x cubed dito magiging negative 3 cubed. Diba? Yung x naging negative 3 na. Plus, plus 5, Tapos yung x na to magiging negative 3 din, tapos naka-squared, minus 4. Now we are, uh, yung mga, yung base natin ay negative, naka-raise sa isang exponent. Ngayon, kapag odd number, that is negative ang sagot. Kapag even number, positive yung sagot. So multiply lang natin yung negative 3 ng 3 times sa sarili niya. So that's negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. And since nga, naka-raise tayo sa add, negative dapat niya magiging sagot. So, that's negative 27. Tapos ito naman, bakit naging 9? Because negative 3 times negative 3 ay positive 9. And positive ang sagot kasi nga, add no, I mean, even number siya, naka-raise. Minus 4. Ayan. Then after that, ito muna, 5 times 9 is solved natin. That is 45. So, the rest, kopya lang. Negative 27. Plus 45 yung product nito, minus 4. Then, ipag-plus, ipag-minus natin yung nandito mga numbers. And that will give us positive 14. O, ah, ba? So, nung nag-synthetic division tayo, nakuha natin si positive 14. Pero yung shortcut ng remainder theorem, nakuha pa rin natin yung same na remainder, which is 
support me. So, ayan. So, ito yung mas mabilis na way para makuha ang remainder. Through the remainder theorem. Ayan. So, let's have another. This is our third example dun sa synthetic division. So, ang remainder niya ay 7. So, let's prove na kapag ginamit sa remainder theorem, lalabas pa rin yung 7. So, let's do this. Ayan. Find the remainder of f of x is equal to x raised to 4 plus 2x squared minus x plus 3 over x plus 1. So, another form ulit. Baka ma-encounter mo yan, hindi na ninyo alam yung gagawin. So, same thing lang yan. That's getting the remainder. Ito yung dividend, at yung divisor. Pero may fx, that's fine. Function. Same lang ang process na gagawin natin. So, yung x plus 1 equate muna sa 0. Then, transpose natin si 1, that will become negative 1. x is equal to negative 1. Pagkatapos nun, Kukunin natin si dividend, itong x raised to 4, plus 2x squared minus x plus 3. Then, we are going to change lahat ng x sa negative 1. Again, lahat ng x sa negative 1. So, this will happen. Ayan, yung negative 1 na kari sa 4, plus 2, tapos yung negative 1 na ka squared, minus. Ang x doon ay negative 1, plus 3. Ayan. Dito, usually, uh, magkakamali. Kasi iniisip, yung negative dito ay yung negative na ni 1. Hindi po yan ganun. Yung negative dito, hiwalay sa magiging value ni x. Kaya kung mapapansin ninyo dito, negative siya, tapos yung nasa loob, negative pa rin. So, ganun yon. Ang chine-change kasi natin is yung x, hindi ito kasama. This is the operation. So, dyan lang yan, as is lang yan. So, negative, tapos may negative 1 sa value ni x. So, Take note of that, para hindi na ninyo magawa. Next, ayan, negative number ulit na nakaray sa exponent. So, check natin para malaman yung sign kung add or even number yung exponent. So, even number yung 4, so expect na positive dapat niya magiging sagot. So, yung negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 1. So, 1 dito ang lalabas. So, ito naman, o, oh, nakaraise ulit sa even number. So, positive din yung magiging sagot. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Ito, negative times negative, magiging plus na lang ito. Plus 1, tapos plus 3. Ito yung mangyayari. Again, ito kapag sinolve, that's positive 1. 2, kinopya lang. Yung negative 1, tapos naka-squared, ang sagot ay 1. Tapos yung negative times negative, that's positive. Kaya, positive 1 plus yung 3, kinopya lang. Then after that, solve natin. So, sabi natin kanina, 7 dapat na magiging sagot. Let's prove kung 7 nga ba ito. Ito muna, 2 times 1. So, that's 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3. So, solve natin lahat. 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3, ang sagot ay 7. So, ayan. So, that's it. That's how you deal with the remainder theorem. Kapag remainder lang naman ang pinapahanap, so do this process. So, ayan. So, we arrived at the same remainder kahit hindi tayo nag- undergo ng long division o kaya synthetic division. Ayan. Now, if you are ready, let's have our humor drill. Ayan. Find the remainder of the function. f of x is equal to x raised to 4 minus 4x cubed plus x plus 2 all over x minus 3. Ayan. So, I'll pause for a while now and I'll get back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So, let's answer. So, we are just asked to have the remainder. Kukunin lang daw yung remainder. So, gawin na lang natin yung remainder theorem na process. So, first, get the value of x here. Ganto siya. x minus 3 is equal to 0. Tapos, para makuha si x, ilipat natin si negative 3. So, kapag nilipat si negative, magiging siyang positive, right? So, magiging siyang x is equal to 3. Ayan. Then, yung 3, isa-substitute natin siya dito sa 
dividend natin. x raised to 4 minus 4x cubed plus x plus 2. Lahat na makita mong x gawin mong 3. Make sure naka parenthesis. Ayan. Sorry. So, naulit lang ito. Pero, ito talaga yung sunod na process. So, 3 raised to 4 minus 4 tapos 3 raised to 3 plus 3 plus yung 2. Ayan. So, napalitan na natin lahat ng x into 3. So, sabi natin, make sure na mapapalitan mo lahat ng 3 yung mga x. So, ayan na. Next, ito naman ay positive. So, no need na i-check yung exponent. Laging positive yung magiging sagot dito. Kapag positive yung nasa loob. So, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Yun ang isasolve natin para makuha yung 3 raised to 4. Tapos, ito naman tatlong beses na i-multiply yung 3 kasi naka-cube siya. Then, ito yung lalabas. Ayan. Apat na beses mong i-multiply yung 3 sa sarili niya, that's 81. Tatlong beses mo siyang i-multiply sa sarili niya, that's 27. Pero yung negative 4, nandun pa rin sa tabi niya. Then, copy yung plus 3 tapos yung plus 2. Then, ito ang solve natin muna. Negative 4 times 21. That is 100 or negative 108. So, magiging siyang 81 minus 108 plus 3 plus 2. So, ayan. Tapos kapag sinod natin ito, from left to right, ang lalabas ay negative 22. So therefore, ang remainder nito, kapag dinivide natin through synthetic or long division ay negative 22. Pero since remainder lang naman na pinapahanap sa atin, we'll do the process ng remainder theorem. Ayan. So we'll have negative 22. And to check, ito yung solved uh, ng synthetic division natin. Solved problem ng synthetic division. So, that's negative 22 yung remainder. So, tama pa rin tayo. Kahit hindi tayo nag-long division or nag-synthetic, nakuha pa rin natin si negative 22. Ayan. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today. And I want to see you in our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please don't forget to click subscribe and click also the notification bell para updated ka sa mga latest videos dito sa Umore PH. And don't forget to share this to your friends as well and to those parents who needs this lesson the most. And don't forget that you deserve more, you can learn more, and you can be more. Hashtag Umore PH. Bye-bye! See you in our next video.